Hey, what's up, guys? And I'm gonna be teaching you how to homebrew your your 3DS, 2DS, 3DS XL, and your new 3DS XL. So let's get started. And I'm gonna ask you some questions. People keep asking me, what emulator am I running? This is not an emulator, guys. It's a 3DS capture card which you can purchase off from Japan. And I'm gonna post a link to the description in the description of where you can download it. And yeah, let's get started. And the reason I'm doing this all over because some people are facing confusion on how this works. They'll get a red screen during the homebrew, or they'll pretty much get kicked back to the home menu of the 3DS, or it corrupts their Ocarina of Time, which is normal understanding. So let's do this, guys. So. First of all, we need a power saves. You can buy one on eBay, Amazon, EB Games, um, and eBay, of course, GameStop. And here's how it looks like. You'll see the little device, USB cable, and your game, how you put it in. And of course, you're going to need a physical copy of Ocarina. And here's mine. I do not know how I work some digital copy guys, so I do not know how to do it. So if you guys ask me that question, I'm just gonna ignore the comment. Alright, let's get started. So now we're gonna download our homebrew starter pack. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna extract it. I'm gonna click yes to all. I mean, it's asking me that because I already have it. I'm just redoing it because I can, and I just wanna show you guys how to do it properly. So, let's close this. Now we're gonna go back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is gonna be called the OTT Hacks Tutorial. I'm gonna to go to Yellow's A Repository. And we're gonna go right here to the latest release. And this works on 10.6, 10.7. They're the same builds. And we're gonna save it. I already have it, so it's asking me. I already have it, so I'm just gonna redo it again. Okay, so we're done with that. All right, perfect. Now what we're gonna want to do is pop in your your SD card to your computer. From your 3DS, and I mean, you already see these files right here. Just ignore them. And let's go to our computer. I mean, the only folder or whatever you're supposed to have is Nintendo 3DS that I can remember. So just ignore the boot, theme, starter, haunts, and 3DS. Just ignore it. All right, let's go to downloads and look for your starter packs so we're going to drag them <coughs> and I'm going to click replace these files in destination just because they're already there so once it's done then we'll proceed okay, okay so we're at the 80s percent So once you do that, you'll see themes, boot, 3DS, and 3DS folder along with Nintendo 3DS. Just make sure you don't delete this. This is very important. It pretty much has all your info stored in there, like downloadable games, all that good stuff. If I'm not mistaken. So, anyways, all right, let's close that. Now, let's go to our OTT hex. Okay, let's push the OTT hex. Here it is. And we're going to click on save images. Save images, power saves. Now you're going to see Cardit 45FE, Cardit 2CFE. One of them will corrupt your game data, will not function properly. Um, 
will kick you out back to the main menu. I mean, it's understandable. So let's go back to this page. This is medium, the main page. And yeah. So as of me, I already know which folder I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Cartets 2SE. And since my region for 3DS is USA, I'm going to click USA. And then you're going to be like, you're going to be wondering, what do you have to do now? So, this is going to be very helpful for you guys. So, since I'm running the old 3DS, I'm going to go old. I'm going to click old. 10. 10.6, 10 10.7 is the same thing, guys. Doesn't matter. 10.6, 10.7 the same thing. And 10.32. It's for the 10.7 update. If you're running 10.6, you know, 10.6.31. Alright, now I'm going to go to U for USA, I'm going to click download raw pin, but I'm not going to save it. So as you can see right here in the bottom, it has post 5U25600. So we're going to try to locate it, and here it is, post 5U25600. So that's the file I'm going to be using. I mean, I already know which file I'm going to be using because I already homebrewed it before, so I'm going to be using this. Post 5U25600, and if I'm running on new 3DS, 10.6 or 10.7 doesn't matter, it's the same, same folders. I'm going to be running U for USA. Click Ropin. Now it changes to N3DS U25600, so all it changed was N3DS to Post 5. So now we're going to go back and we're going to look for it. So here it is. N3S 25600. Alright, so that's for USA. And if that didn't work for you, then you're going to want to go back over here and card dates USA. And you can see 25600, the same file. 25600, the same file. I mean, it's the same. They're the same. It just might be coded differently from my understanding, which that's what I've been told, but I could be wrong. And that's pretty much it guys so, and if you're trying to look for the euro version you can go 10.7.32 and E for Europe and now you're gonna see post yeah. oh shit my bad <laughs> it has to be 10.32 I mean 10.7.32 Alright, here it is. So post 5E2457.6. So that's going to be for the old 3DS. And when I go to Euro, and you're going to find it. Post E24576. Post E24576. Alright. So here it is. That's the file you're going to be using. And if you're running a new one, 10.7.32 just make sure you click on you put in your the version you're running and E for Europe, U for USA, J for Japan and we're running a new 3DS when I click download raw pin it's going to give us N3DS E24576 so we're going to locate it and here it is N3DS24 Five seven six. So all it does is changes from post five to N three DS, but depending on what system you have. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's there's there's nothing else to it, guys. That's it. This is the main thing you gotta focus on. I mean, if it gives you errors, I mean, I don't wanna hear it because I already went through it. So if one corrupts your game or whatever doesn't load homebrew, you're going to be using the next folder. If you use this one and try this one, I mean if you use this one, then you got to try this one. Or if you use this one, you got to try this one. Because one of them will corrupt your game. Data won't uh, pretty much load homebrew properly. So that's pretty much it guys. So make sure you focus on that. And yeah, let's just let's focus on homebrewing our 3DS. 
So now we're gonna go to power saves. Pop in your game. I'm sorry, it's got it's gonna be a little longer because I just wanna get it out there so people can know what you're dealing with. Alright, so if you're not familiar with power saves, once you load it and download it or whatever, you're not gonna have nothing, you're not gonna see anything until you start using codes. Like for instance, oh uh, let's see. Let's apply. So this is gonna show you how it works. Just ignore this. I'm just gonna show you like how it's gonna start um, creating a timeline on your power saves. So you can see it created today's date backup. So I use the code. So it's gonna create a timeline. That's pretty much it, guys. That's all there is to it. All right. So let's get started. We're gonna create a backup, and you're gonna rename it to whatever you want. So I'm gonna rename it to Hyrule. Hyrule Savior. Ah, uh, something easy. Uh, Hyrule Link one two three four five. All right, so. There you go, it created my backup, Hyrule Link 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, now we're going to open our folder. We're going to go to local C disk. We're going to go to users. We're going to go to whatever you, you name your computer or whatever your computer is named to. Now we're going to go to power saves. Alright. Now let's open our other folder where we have the the OTT 3D hacks. Okay, where is it? Perfectly save images. Since I know what I'm gonna be using, Cardits. I'm gonna be using this one. So if you're from USA, whatever. Uh, for I mean, if your uh, 3DS is from the US region, um, just use this one. I mean, that's what I'm using. So pretty sure it should work. If not, then try this one right here. Alright, so I'm going to go to USA. Since I already know what file I'm going to be using, post 5 for, remember, for all 3 ds So we're going to drag it. Here it is. So let's rename the file we dragged to it here. Rename it to whatever you want. So I'm going to rename it to Zelda Majora's Majora's. All right, so perfectly, I renamed Zelda Majora's. Now I'm going to be looking for Hyrule Link 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you never used Power Saves before, I mean, you're not going to have all this list. So here it is Hyrule Link. So you're going to want to highlight it, right click, copy, and we're done. Now look for that. Look for that file that you renamed from here to here. So I renamed it Zelda Majora's. We're going to highlight it. We're going to delete Zelda Majora's or whatever you rename it to. Make sure it has dot bin at the end. Alright, guys, so <clears throat> once we renamed the, the file, whatever, now what we're going to want to do now is head to your power saves. Now we're going to click on Hyrule link and we're gonna hit restore and you should and after that you should see a different file come out of now um when you call it Hyrule link will be overwritten with a different file so we do that and there you go so now post 5 u 25600 that's the file that we got from um, the power saves images and now it's overwritten so now what you want to do is take out your SD card, pop it back to your 3DS. Alright. Alright, so I did that. All right, let me close this. Alright, we close this now. Close this. And pop in your game back to your 3DS. Alright, before <coughs> we start it, just because we removed the SD card, uh, we're going to want to reboot the 3DS 
just because um, when you try to what do you call it when you try to load Ocarina of Time and try to go to Homebrew it's gonna pretty much freeze so once you do that make sure you reboot your 3DS start now we're here and you can see this file right here hacks on slot one all right we start it all right and then you can see 500 rupees you can see all these items maxed out on the side so now we press a and Everything should start working. And voila. There you go guys. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you homebrew your 3DS. I mean, make sure you focus on this guys. Make sure you focus on on this. On how to pretty much identify your the file that you need. Make sure you guys do it. Because other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to get everything out there so you guys can know what you're doing. If it fails you, then remember. If one of them fails you, if one of them fails you, like from here, use this one. If this one fails you, do this one. And that's it. It should solve your issue. If there's nothing else to it. If it worked for me, as I'm doing it again, if it worked for me, then it should work for you without any issues and this is where I bought my capture card for those ask 3ds video capture and it shows you all the different ones that they have and as well as 2ds they have it and yeah you could just go through it and now I'll give you how to buy it as you can see it's from it's all the way from Japan and that's pretty much it. I'll, you can buy from Wii U, PS Vita, all that good stuff. So anyways, I'll leave the links in the description. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Hopefully this was more helpful now. And you guys have an understanding of how to get Homebrew working properly. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And share it with your friends. And whatever. And whatnot. So... Until next time.